This is incredible. Um, I'll tell you this. Two weeks ago, I was in Disneyland with my girlfriend and her whole entire family. And in front of everyone, her little four-year-old niece walked up to me and went, why won't you marry my aunt? <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's not that I won't. It's that I don't want to. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But uh, like, I can't explain to this four-year-old why I won't marry her aunt. She's not gonna comprehend that. I can't be like, well, your aunt's been married before and she's still working through some <laughs> spiritually. <laughs> so pretty much it's on her at this point. <laughs> the truth is we're talking about it, we're thinking about it, but it's scary because we've both been married before and we both know how much a wedding costs. <laughs> This is totally true. The average cost of a wedding in New York City, where I'm originally from, is $60,000. Yeah, you guys know $60,000, right? Like the amount of money I made in my 20s if we round up by $37,000. <laughs> this is why I feel like young people shouldn't be allowed to get married. Or not that young people shouldn't be allowed to get married, but you should have to be married five years before you can throw yourself a wedding. Because, like, young people don't know what to do with money. Young people are like, we'll be fine. Old people are like, no, you won't. <laughs> like, if you ask any older couple who's been married for more than five years if they want to spend $10,000 on appetizers, they would be like, get out of my house. Because <laughs> older couples know nobody cares about the appetizers at your wedding. People only care about one thing at a wedding, and it's not your love. It's the open bar. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You could have six kegs of beer and some Totino's pizza rolls, and people would still be like, this is a pretty good wedding. <laughs> I also feel like you should have to go on your honeymoon before you get married. That's something I believe. I think you should have to go on your honeymoon. Some people say live together before you get married. I think honeymoon. Because if you can't get along in Hawaii, you're sure you're not going to make it in Cleveland. <laughs> And also, by the way, no more destination weddings. I'm out, I'm done, I'm not renewing my passport to watch you make a mistake. <laughs> and also, by the way, if you do have a destination wedding and you get divorced in the first five years, we all get refunds now. <laughs> yeah, and you're flying us to your divorce and you're having it somewhere fun like Acapulco. <laughs> my idiot cousin, he spent $180,000 on his Scarface wedding. Yeah, $180,000 so his bride could feel like a princess for the day. When for $180,000, she could have became the actual queen of Hoboken. $180,000, and I don't even remember that much about that wedding. Isn't that crazy? I remember two things. There were giant marble staircases she had to walk down before we could eat, and there were piles of cheese stacked up like blow. <laughs> like, so much cheese, if anyone ate this cheese, they wouldn't crap for three years. Isn't that crazy? I went to a wedding that cost as much as seven Kia Souls. <laughs> and the only thing I remember is some steps in Brie. Like, that's nuts. Like, if I spent $180,000 on a wedding, you're gonna remember that wedding for the rest of your life. Like, you're gonna be on your deathbed, like, do you remember when the bride and groom busted in like it was the WWE? <laughs> Pyro going off everywhere, and the bride didn't throw a bouquet, she launched it out of a T-shirt cannon. <laughs> It hit Becky right in the face. She's never getting married now. $180,000, and the only thing they had to show for it at the end of this wedding was a photo album of them spending $180,000. <laughs> Once again, this is why I feel like young people shouldn't be allowed to get married. Because if that was any older couple, if you gave any older couple the option between you could have a photo album to remember this day for the rest of your life, or you could afford a stack of a washer and dryer. <laughs> Yeah, there's not an old couple being like, give me the damn whirlpool, baby. <laughs> but young people are like, no, we need that photo album. We need to remember this day for the rest of our lives. P.S. I've been married. I'm divorced. I got one of those photo albums. I'm not doing jack with it. <laughs> but I know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to Photoshop my new girlfriend's face on top of my ex-wife's face. <laughs> yeah. And then when I propose to her, I'm going to give her that photo album and be like, hey, I just saved us $10,000. <laughs> All right, that's it for me. Thanks a lot. Jalen Harris, everybody! You can see him in the Comedy of Magic on December 6th and 7th. We'll be right back, everybody.